Hello travelers, today we're taking a look at the Airweave Merino mask from Oz Air. I did order this mask with my own money at full price, however upon looking at the sizing chart I became unsure of my purchase and reached out to Oz Air who added an extra mask a size up for free so that I could do a sizing comparison. Speaking about sizing, I did a whole separate video on it, you can click the link in the top right or below to watch it. But just to quickly summarize on the sizing video, measure your face according to their sizing chart and if you're even marginally closer to the next size up then I would say go a full size up for a full face fit. The large size mask is what my face measured at, but I was closer to the extra large sizing notch. So the large size did fit me, but when I open my mouth to talk or yawn, the mask comes off and then becomes a little bit uncomfortable. The extra large fits me over the nose and the chin and allows more room to talk and yawn without it coming off which is more comfortable. Wearing a mask clip behind your head also makes the fit even more secure, allowing for a more airtight fit overall as well. So I'm gonna start off with a few of the negative things about this mask and then go on to some of the positives. I think one of the biggest negatives that I experienced with this mask is with the filters themselves, and not necessarily the filter, but actually the foam nose piece at the top, which allows for a better fit to form around your nose. Beneath the foam is actually a bendable wire, so the foam itself doesn't really have any rigidity. No matter how hard I tried, it never truly felt like it helped to form a truly airtight seal, but it certainly did feel better and adds a layer of comfort compared to the cheaper masks. One thing I did think about the phone nose piece is that it might help reduce fogging the glasses. I wear this mask with sunglasses all the time and sometimes it didn't seem to fog up and sometimes it did and I couldn't figure out what was causing that to happen. So I can't really say for sure that it 100% works for reducing the fog on glasses. But perhaps the worst thing about this foam nose piece is no matter how careful you are with the mask, the glue that holds it on tends to become pliable and weak with use and it then starts to fall off. In the box you get two filters and I'm already on the second filter but only because the nose piece itself on the original one fell off. The glue became weak and started moving around every time I put it on and eventually the sticky glue became uncomfortable when I was wearing it so I changed to the new filter. And this is probably within less than a week of use. However, even with the new filter, trying to be even more careful with how I used the nose piece and folded it up and putting it back into my bag, the glue holding it have again become unstuck on one side and sometimes pressing it back in place can hold it on for a bit longer but it eventually is gonna come off completely again. This might perhaps be due to the weight of the glasses that I wear or perhaps the human weather here in Thailand, but either way, it makes me very hesitant to recommend this mask with such a weak point in its design. The material of the filter is actually very nice and it's a woven fabric and it is very easy to breathe with. Occasionally, I do feel sort of slight strands of the fabric inside of the mask tickling my mouth while I'm wearing it and the longer I wear it, the more I tend to feel these or the more they kind of come out. But this is not a deal breaker by any means. Another negative thing I experienced is that these straps that hold it on your ears can become a little bit uncomfortable over long periods of wear. In particular, on my right ear, I felt it becoming uncomfortable at the top of my ear. So I bought a foam ear retainer from Daiso, a cheap dollar store, to see if it would help alleviate the pain. But the strap still passes over the top of my ear so it still did feel a little bit uncomfortable. Using the strap does allow for overall a more comfortable and tighter fit that does feel more airtight and safer than just wearing it with the built-in ear retainers. I wore it on the flight from Sydney to Thailand with the retainer behind my head and it felt like it was very secure and airtight. The merino and the particular air filter they use are very breathable and it makes it very comfortable to wear for the nine hour flight. This is perhaps one of the biggest positives to me is that it is very breathable, comfortable and, and I never felt sort of too hot wearing it even in the humid weather here in Thailand. Taking off and putting the mask on is easy and these straps have a little adjustment notch which make it easy to get a tighter or looser fit. I did notice though that when you tighten the fit, it can pull your ears out a little bit, making them look a little bit weird. But using the behind the head retainer, as I mentioned earlier, can alleviate this problem. Wearing the mask on one ear is not particularly secure though, as you can see here, when you take it off to eat or drink brief for brief periods of time, I would be careful to put it back into its carry case when you want to take it off. Overall, the current price, I don't think I can really recommend it unless the nose foam filter is either changed the way it's secured or the filter design itself is changed. But it is overall a very good mask and I still enjoy wearing it despite the 
flaws that I mentioned. I love the fact that it's a merino material, which is very breathable and quick drying. And the filter works very well and is very breathable and doesn't get too hot. The foam nose piece is perhaps the weakest link and ultimately sours the overall experience and the value of this mask in my opinion. Let me know in the comments what kind of mask is your preferred mask and be sure to stay subscribed to keep up to date with future videos.